Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Today I've gone quite plain because I'm going to be showing off a few things um, to you, but uh, I, they're not mine. I stole my best friend's luxury handbag collection. Please excuse the background, I am in the spare room because I need the space for this because my bestie, she has got a few luxury handbags of her own and I know that a lot of us in the luxury YouTube community, specifically luxury handbags YouTube community, and start our channels because we don't have anyone in our lives that we can share our enthusiasm and joy and passion for these beautiful, beautiful things. My mate does have a lot of luxury handbags, but we don't talk about luxury handbags. Her thing is shoes. She's a La Boutin, Jimmy Choo kind of girl. And the handbags are almost an afterthought for her. So we don't have the same values in handbags. We don't have the same approach to buying luxury handbags. And we'll get into all of that in a second. But before then, and before I show you everything that I stole, I did leave her with two bags. I didn't take everything. I left her with her two favourites. One of which is my favourite of hers. <laughs> these for a while now because we went and stayed the weekend with them and I took all my gear and we were I was going to film it there and I was just going to film it can I just have a little rummage around your closet and film your bags I know you've got some pretty ones in there and she said yeah fine but we had such a blast together me the lion my bestie and her fella we we just had such a blast that it got to breakfast on the day we were leaving and, it, um, you know, when I say we had a blast, we may have had a few champers type of blast and um, got to the leaving time and I was like, oh, I haven't filmed anything. So uh, she chucked everything into this huge bag and sent me home with it. Um, and then when we went to visit the next time, I was supposed to be taking these back, I completely forgot about it. So I've had these for months. Sorry, babe, sorry. Really, I should be wearing stripes. This is my swag and I am a robber. If you are new to my channel, then I'm Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms, including stealing my BFFs. Um, and if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms, then get down there, hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my shenanigans. Give the videos you enjoy the <coughs> thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Right, let's get in. Let's get into this. Can't believe I've had these for so long. Now, um, as I said, we don't share the same values and requirements in our handbags. And this is going to be a bit of a lucky dip. I know we've got Jimmy Choo in here because Jimmy Choo is probably the the brand that she has the most of. There's some Louis. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just grab the first thing. And the first thing is this beautiful, if we like a pop of colour, and we like a pop of colour on this channel, we've got this beautiful, um, I think this is a Jimmy. Is it a Jimmy? Where's the branding? It is, it is a Jimmy Choo. Uh, this is a shoulder hobo style. It's got a slightly adjustable strap on it. Not very adjustable. The strap is removable. You could pop something else on there. Does that mean there's another strap in here? I can't find one, but I have found a biro. So, that's always exciting and a face mask <laughs> in amongst all of the stuffing. So this is in a sort of 
kind of green grey colour but then you've got this acid yellow uh, snake skin and my mate is a big fan of exotics she loves her exotics so this is something quite slouchy as I said she's really into shoes so one of her requirements for her bags is that they're generally large enough that they can take a pair of stratospheric six inch stilettos I think six inches is stratospheric when you're talking about stilettos isn't it so she can carry her stilettos in her bags um, while she's running around in flats, ballet flats or something like that, to get to where she's going. And then she'll change her shoes out there. We've got this lovely little drawstringy type detail so you can cinch it in. It is a great bag. I've seen her use this loads. The next one is in a Longchamp dust bag. And I'm not sure if it's a Longchamp. It is a Longchamp. It is another exotic. This one is going to be a print. This is another sort of snakeskin print and it's in this really bright kind of orange colour. It looks like it's a turn lock, but it is a popper and look at that leopard print lining. Just look at that. Isn't that fabulous? So um, another thing with the bags and the shoes and everything is um, my mate is a really, really big fan of, oh look it's got a rear slip pocket and everything my mate's a really really big fan of an oversized clutch and again it's so she can drop ballet flats in there when she's wearing her shoes and then she'll carry her shoes but yeah she is a big fan of a of a clutch bag and I wasn't really that into them when we first met in back in 2015 is when we first met um but I'm more and more into the kind of the oversize, you know, I'm a big fan of the Bottega Veneta, the pouch, and I really, really want one. Um, so yeah, I think I get it now. This is another Jimmy Choo, and this is another exotic. This is another snakeskin bag. It is black. It is very, very shiny. It is a double top handle shoulder, shoulder bag. It's got this flap closure, and then that just flips down let's see if we've got an exciting lining in this one we don't we don't we've got a lovely little jimmy chew plaque in a very kind of lovely lilac color which is completely different from anything else on this bag so that's quite nice and it's got this kind of it's a kind of microfiber lining bag now this one doesn't have a rear slip pocket because it's got this detail this drawstring detail on it and this has got feet this is and i know that she doesn't use this one very much because she does not believe in feet on bags i know how can we even be friends let alone best friends i don't get it but she she what the reason she doesn't like the um feet on bags is because she doesn't like the look of them she she looks at the bag and she thinks that is a beautiful bag it's got feet okay that ruins the look of the bag so she's not a fan i was shocked i was okay the next one is in this really really huge um dust bag the dust bag says bricks i'm not entirely sure that that is what is it oh no this is one of my favorites this is one of my favourites and okay there's a lot going on with this one I love it I really do we have got a shoulder strap not long enough to go cross body right okay I think I've got it sorted so you've got the shoulder strap that you can extend maybe it will go cross body again it's quite slouchy again it's big so she can get her shoes and everything in there but look at I don't know if the camera's going to pick up too well just how beautiful this it's like an oil slick this iridescence on the um it's snake skin again it is jimmy chew again now uh we've got this really we've got this zipped up compartment at the top that goes all the way down the back we've got this chain accessory that you can can you use it i think if you hold it carry it like that it's a little bit asymmetrical um but yeah this is just the color of this um and the the fact that the hardware is this really sort of dark gunmetal gray is just 
I, I really love this bag. I always love it when I see her carrying it. It's such a beautiful bag. Now some of the, it does feel a little bit rough because it's snakeskin and then snakeskin has a tendency to lift. Um, it's in great condition. She gets all of these, like this is a £3,000 bag and I think she pays something like £300 for it because she used to go to a lot of sample sales in London. She's worked in London for a long time and she's signed up for all these sample sales and stuff like that. So she gets an invite to the sample sale, she's there and she just grabs. She, I like that. She goes for the shoes, leaves with a handbag. All of her bags are pretty much sample sale purchases and she picks up the most amazing stuff like this. This is, like I said, this is a £3,000 handbag. She got it for about £300. Um, I've only been to one sample sale. It was, who was it? I can't remember who it was. I went to one sample sale when I was working in London and um, I got the hubby a pair of socks. Designer socks. Gosh, there's so much in here, so much. This dust bag is inside out. It is a Mark by Mark Jacobs dust bag. It is another Jimmy Choo. Now this one I can see is damaged and this is why I have not seen her using it. It is in the most glorious kind of magenta fuchsia pink. Absolutely beautiful. The zip pull's got this kind of extra little jobby on it. It's Jimmy Choo. The branding is quite subtle on this one. It's suede. The lining is cloth lining and it is kind of purpley in colour. The shoulder strap is removable but this top handle is not removable. It's attached to the D-ring here. It's like a double D-ring and it's broken off on this side. So it looks like the, the screw and the bar that goes through, it's supposed to go through here, has actually broken off. So that's why she doesn't use it so much, but I can see on the crossbody strap, what she's done is she's put it through the zip. So she can still use it. What a glorious color. Oh, it matches my nail varnish perfectly, my Pompeii purple. Next up, this one feels a little bit smaller. It's in a Kurt Geiger dust bag. Again, I don't think it's gonna be a Kurt Geiger bag. And it isn't, it is another Jimmy Choo. And check out this one. <gasps> See if we can get it. it. Again, it's got a slight iridescence, not as much as the oil slick one. It's in this beautiful kind of rich burgundy color, but the look at the, the crystals that go all around and that's the is that the clasp yes that is just a magnetic clasp and then there's another magnetic or there's a popper it is a magnetic popper let's call it that and then it opens up and it is just one one space you can see she's a big fan of her exotics this is one of the smaller bags that she has i've seen her using this when we've been when we stayed at a hotel and um, just gone down for dinner or something in the evening. This and a vertiginous pair of heels and she is good to go. Just stop for a swig of coffee there. Now I've got two best friends. I'm very lucky I've got two best friends. Um, and the other one has had luxury handbags in the past. She has got her luxury handbags now, but her approach is she buys one kind of full price from the boutique. Um, Mulberry was always a favorite. Uh, and she would just use that one bag. I think she's up to about three now, but she would just buy one and just use it all of the time, all of the time. Uh, this is, oh, this is a fun one. I really like this. Unbranded dust bag, hefty chain, shoulder chain. Look at this one. Look at the detail on this. Again, snake skin, exotic. The rest of it is suede. It's heavy. This one is really heavy. The hardware is heavy. It's a Jimmy Choo. Again, it's a Jimmy Choo. There we go. Let's fluff you out a little bit. Uh, this has got like a little V here. So you open it up, slide it in and let go. Okay, so this can be doubled over to being a shoulder strap or it can go crossbody. It is a very, very hefty 
very hefty bit of kit. A little bit of tarnishing on the um, hardware on that one, but they're well used and they're well loved. Quite a lovely collection. Okay, this one is in a Charlotte Olympia dust bag. This one always makes me smile as well. It's it's kind of leopard print, but it's like camo leopard print. And again, it is a Jimmy Choo. You can see, you can see she goes for the shoes and then she picks up a bag and goes, oh, I quite like that. I'll take that. There's none of this musing for months on end about whether it'll fit into the wardrobe or anything like that. Oh, we've got a bonus Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. What shade? Oh, it's nearly, nearly finished. But it looks like pillow talk to me. So that's in there and tickets for Sleeping Beauty uh, Sunday the 8th of December 2019. <laughs> so there we go. The lining on this one it's leather on the flap and then on the inside it's just this it's like satin with a slip pocket. Um, love this one it's I love this green with the gold hardware I think and the leather trim and the trim, the leather trim, it's exotic again. So you can see this is like a pony skin finish as well. A pony hair skinish, uh, finish. And so you can see what her style is. Her style is very glamorous. It's very exotic. Okay, this one I already know, it's a pied de terre dust bag, but it is not a pied de terre bag. And again, Jimmy Choo, this one is another clutch bag. It's got this Steel, uh, this metal frame. It's plain leather in this gorgeous dark kind of teal colour. It's got more like croc leather here and then metal there. This is what this one does. This is how you open it and then it can just sit, sit there. So if you're at home or something you don't need to worry about it being closed. You just pop it down there and then everything is available to you and it's got Jimmy Choo debossed there and then these kind of weird little dice things that I don't know what they're for but they're decoration and they look lovely so yeah another clutch bag this is in a little Charlotte Olympia dust bag I suspect it's going to be another Jimmy Choo because like I said that's her favorite oh I can't get it out of the dust bag it is another exotic and it is another Jimmy Choo. This is a small clutch. This is a very roundy kind of barrel clutch. It's got Jimmy Choo on the metal work on the top and it just opens like that. Very cute. This is, uh, could you comfortably wear it under the arm? I suppose you could. This is a good go with everything. Wear this with jeans and a pair of heels. Absolutely gorgeous um, and I reckon it would fit a phone in there as well. So practical too. Next up is another heavy bag. Oh yes I love this one too. Another heavy bag. It is very similar in fact it's it's the same style as this one. You can see done with the rivets down the side. Um, this feels this feels more squishy. This feels more rigid. It's in suede and um, we've got that dark gun metal -y type hardware again. Um, so it's exactly the same. So you can long shoulder, maybe cross body it. Um, it's got the same clasp there and it is just raw suede on the inside. So yeah, this is, a, this is exactly the same style. It is another gorgeous, gorgeous bag and it is another Jimmy Choo bag. Now, I. I couldn't, I mean, I love the look of these bags, but couldn't carry them because that, that would drive me nuts. Trying to get in and out of it, mm -mm. It's faffy and we don't do faffy on this channel. No, we don't. Okay, a few things in boxes here now. We've got, this is a Charlotte Olympia box. Oh, I think I was with her when she bought this. I think I was with her when she bought this. Um, this is a rose clutch. Charlotte Olympia sadly went out of business few years ago I was very distressed to hear that oh look it's got like a little pouch inside I don't know if that came with it or not um, but yeah so it's just this kind of it's resin what I really like about it is the magnetic closure is really really good um, but it's got this crystal encrusted spider on the top 
So you think, oh, isn't that nice? It's a lovely, what a lovely little rose print. What a gorgeous little print on a gorgeous little bag. Ah, it's got a spider on it. So yeah, big fan of this one, big fan of this one. Another Charlotte Olympia box. These bags are all really quite heavy and oh yes. Now, I don't remember seeing this one before. This is new to me. I really don't remember seeing this. It's got scales on it, so could this potentially be a um, horoscope style bag from a horoscope collection? Again, it, you've got this magnetic opening. You've got this little bit here to stop it from falling completely open. And you've got the little gold pouch. So yes, this must have come with this style bag. It's resin again with a metal frame. Um, it's this gorgeous kind of... I don't know what kind of colour you would call this, but it's really subtle and I really, really like it. And then you've got jewels and things in the actual um, embellishment on the front there. What a beautiful bag. Honestly, this is, I mean, most of them I've recognised and gone, oh yeah, I remember when we've been out and she's worn that. But that is new to me. Okay, the last three pieces are... Louis Vuitton pieces and I do believe these were all gifts. These were all gifts her employer for doing a cracking job and I do believe one of them was for her partner as well, for her boyfriend. And so in the first box we have a little dust bag here and yes so this is um, for my mate's other half. It is this beautiful it still smells fresh and new. It is this beautiful Louis Vuitton uh, wallet. It looks like it's never been used. It's got the very subtle kind of LV debossing stampy thing there in the corner. It feels really, really lovely. It's just very, very beautiful. And it's in a very, very dark blue. Very dark blue. Is that coming up at all? You should be able to see against my black t-shirt that it kind of jars against it. It doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't blend in. So that's really, really beautiful. So that was a gift for um, her other half, again, from her employer. And in this box, we have, what have we got? Oh, it's pink. Ah, oh, we've got this beautiful en France now. Is this... Yes, this is one of the big continental wallets and I'm trying to remember the name of it. You've got your card slots in there, you've got your zipped up compartment. Um, again, smells really fresh. It does, again, it doesn't look like it's been used. Um, it is a beautiful piece of empreinte leather. It absolutely it feels beautiful. Now I will say, I don't think the colour is her colour. Um, she's not really kind of a pinky kind of gal. You can see that she's, her favourite colour is green. She's more into the sort of darker jewel colours on their emerald. So it's a beautiful wallet. I've never seen her use it. Um, it doesn't look like it's been used. So maybe it hasn't ever been used. And finally, we've made it to the bottom of the bag and we have this Louis Vuitton box. Um, so I think the wallets were bought as a gift more recently. This was a while ago. She's had this since I've known her. And you can see it's in the older style brown box. I absolutely love this bag. And in this bag, it's not even in the dust bag. What are you doing? The dust bag's just shoved in at the bottom there. You've got to be careful with this one. It is the Alma. It's not the BB, it's a bigger size. Um, it is beautiful. We've got the lock in there. Ah, this is the one that doesn't come with a shoulder or crossbody strap. This is in the um, Vernis leather. Oh, just look at it in the light. It's the Vernis leather. It is in the colour Amaranti or Amaron. Um, and it is just, just beautiful. This is probably my favourite colour in the Verney collection. Um, this and that really beautiful deep raspberry pink. 
Um, but yeah, I again, I don't think I've ever ever seen her use this. Um, but it is an absolute stunner of a bag. We've got care booklet in there and and the little padlock. So shiny, so shiny, so fresh. Now I don't have any Verney myself because I am worried about fingerprints. It's beautiful. It is an absolute beautiful bag and cavernous. You could fit the kitchen sink in there. You could definitely fit some shoes in there. Now that I can see there's a little bit of glitter in there so I do believe this has been used and um, a pair of very sparkly Laboutin or Jimmy Choo's have made their way into this bag. <laughs> so these are my best friend's luxury bags that I stole from her and I've got a taste for this now so I might do some more virtual stealing. I might have a look at my fellow YouTubers handbag collections and decide what I might like to steal from them. Um, thank you to my BFF for letting me not only steal these um, but keep them for so long. I'm putting it in the dust bag. I can't believe you didn't have it in the dust bag. I'm going to... that is gonna... there we go. So I hope you have enjoyed this video of me stealing my best friend's luxury handbags. Um, let me know which were your favourites out of this gorgeous selection. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please show it the thumbs up love. And until I see you, yes you, boop. For the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye Ooh. Don't steal anything, it's bad. <laughs>